Mel here, also known as Chow Chow 8 Away. Welcome back to another video. I think it's been a while since I posted a video. I am not too sure, but today I wanted to kind of take some time and just give a little update regarding my keto diet. So if you don't follow me on my blog, chowchow808.com, um, you're, you're probably a little out of the loop on it, but not really, because I tried to keep this YouTube channel a little bit up more updated regarding the whole diet and stuff, maybe not necessarily, um, what is it called, beauty videos. So anyhow, <laughs> I am on a keto diet. I've been on a keto diet, I think, um, yesterday started my second week. Wait, what? <laughs> is it my second week? I think it's my third week, actually. Wait, week three. Yeah, so yesterday started week three of my keto diet. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit and give an update regarding how I'm feeling um, and the things that I'm experiencing, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that. If you don't know what the keto diet is, I'll leave a link down here or in the drop box below. You can read a little bit more about it, but essentially it's just taking carbs and sugar, processed sugar out of your um, diet and teaching your body to use up the carbs and sugars that it has stored as fat instead of relying on what's being put into your body and storing the excess. So essentially, you cut out things like um, oatmeal, bread, uh, rice, you cut out a majority of those things out of your diet and you cut out things like cereal, you cut out yogurt, um, anything that has processed sugar is what you cut out. and. Honestly, you rely more on food that is prepped daily than food that is already prepared for you in store, which I like because it forces me to have to make better decisions about what I'm eating. Um, but the nice thing about a keto diet is that it's super flexible, so it's something that you don't have to feel like you're being left out of a situation because you're on a specific diet. Now, as I do this video, you might see me sipping on this. So this is, I made 10 ounces of this drink. Um, this is my Keto OS. I have about six ounces left. So this is my Keto OS. I got it from Prove It. It's in the flavor Orange Dream. Um, you rely on these to help you through this diet and to help you kickstart everything. So like I said, you rely on those products to help you kickstart a keto diet because your body takes a while for it to go into natural ketosis. And at the same time, it may not, it may never get into natural ketosis. It's very, very tough for your body to do that. Um, but ketosis is basically, like I mentioned, using up the stored fat that you already have for energy rather than relying on the carbs and sugars that you're intaking for energy. And that's the reason why I really like this diet. I mean, when you read it and when you talk to people about it, it seems really backwards. And especially if you look at my food diary, again, I highly suggest you check out my blog because you get to take a little glimpse into what a weekly diet or a weekly food diary looks like for me, um, you're going to see a lot of just healthier, hearty meals and they're smaller than what you would imagine. I know I've only been on it for three weeks, but I have seen some results already. I mean, like my upper portion here has become a lot thinner. It's come in a lot. Um, my stomach isn't as bloated looking. It's not protruding out as much. My core feels stronger. I feel more energized. I'm able to wake up in the morning feeling energized and if, again, if you follow my blog, which I highly suggest you do, you'll know that for a really long time, I had not been waking up feeling energized. In fact, for a few months, I have been tired, sleepy. I could barely make it to five o'clock in the afternoon after waking up at like six o'clock in the morning. You know, it's not normal and I could barely function through an eight hour day. But now I'm finding myself getting through my day really easily. In the morning, I can wake up for the gym or wake up to do any household chores that I may have. It's a crazy feeling because I've never had this feeling in so long 
where it's like I'm awake and I'm not tired because my diet's making me tired. I'm tired because I haven't gotten enough sleep. And so to know that there's a difference between that, it's crazy. And just to kind of see the difference within me personally, like energy wise, that has been the biggest thing. And this is why I'm the biggest advocate for it because it has completely did a 180 in my life. But um, I've already seen results and the results is like, it's so encouraging for me. So like I mentioned, my upper torso has come in a lot. I've lost some boobage, like um, this bra that I'm wearing, I know it's a little TMI, but this bra that I'm wearing, it was actually pretty full, but now I do have pretty a pretty big gap in between here. Like, I don't know how much you can see, but like you see this, that is a gap in this bra. So I've seen that go down. My I know it's small, but these Alex and Annie bracelets, I have to make them smaller on my wrist because if I don't, they are way too big. My ring, like, I don't know, it's so small, but like you see that this ring used to fit perfectly on my finger, but now it's pretty loose on my finger. So again, it's these small changes that I'm seeing that's encouraging me to keep going and just to keep working at it. The thing that I've been enjoying the most out of it is the energy that I've received from it. Um, and one thing that I do want to note is that I think my body, my stomach at least, is changing um, in a way where it can't handle high carb things and high sugar things like it used to. Uh, this past weekend, it was Sunday? No, Saturday night is when I noticed it. So my boyfriend and I, on the weekends, I'm not huge on my diet, but um, Saturday night we went to Chipotle and I wasn't that hungry, so I ordered uh, chips and guac, which is like, I could live off of that. Seriously, I could. But I ordered chips and guac and um, I felt kind of sick afterwards. I didn't finish the whole chips. Um, I actually probably ate maybe half the bag and then I gave it to my boyfriend, but of course I finished the guac, you know? Um, they do not have an even ratio for guac and chips. Like, let me just put that out there. Um, but I did finish the guac and afterwards I felt a little bloated. I felt sick, a little nauseous. And so I was like, okay, maybe I just need to use the bathroom. Maybe it's just something that I ate earlier on in the day, even though it was, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast, um, but I thought that's what it was. So um, I felt a little better after getting some fresh air, walking around, and then we went to go see Jumanji. And of course I got popcorn because I freaking love popcorn. <laughs> I love movie theater popcorn. And um, again, I think I ate maybe a quarter of it and we got a medium. So I ate about a quarter of it or maybe half, I'm not too sure. But I started feeling sick again. And um, you know, popcorn isn't that high in carbs, but I just started feeling sick. So I stopped eating the popcorn, enjoyed the rest of Jumanji. It was really, really funny, really good. Jack Black is really good in it. Um, and then the next day is Sunday. So of course that's family day. Um, I had my a really good breakfast and cauliflower fried rice with bacon um, and then for lunch my sister wanted Raisin Cane's so we picked up Raisin Cane's. I had two pieces. I had the usual amount that I usually eat um, and then I felt sick again. I just felt so nauseous and I was like what's going on? So of course I thought I was maybe dehydrated. I thought maybe I needed to drink more water just to rest. Maybe I ate too much too fast. And then um, I, I, we work, no, what did we do? We cleaned my car and I felt better afterwards. And then I took a nap during the uh, Packer, no, the Saints Vikings game. I took a nap during that, woke up and I was hungry, but my mom was still cooking dinner. So I had two of those cookies from like that you get in those Christmas tins. So I had two of those and again, I felt sick. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to drink more water. So I chugged water because I'm like, okay, maybe that's what I needed. Still felt sick, wasn't feeling too good. And then my mom for dinner, she made tonkatsu, which is one of my favorites. I love chicken katsu and tonkatsu. Um, but she made that for dinner. And as I was eating it, I just had this overwhelming sense of nausea and just sick. And um, I was like, huh, that's so strange, you know? To me, I'm like, that's really strange. So this morning, I made myself, I went to the gym, um, made myself an omelet, which you can check out on my blog. 
chowchowyoutaway.com. <laughs> but I made myself an omelet and then as I was eating, I'm like, you know what? I feel fine. Like the whole day I felt a little sick, but not that bad. Like I was not feeling that bad at all. It was more of a I overate type of sick. And I was so good. I was feeling great. Um, went to work at around one, no, that's a lie. Around 12.45, I had my lunch, which was my chicken casserole with a bunch of veggies. And I felt great again, like feeling good, didn't have any stomach pains, wasn't feeling any stomach issues. I was just great. I was feeling good, all of that good stuff. And then it's my coworkers, it was my coworkers birthday on a Sunday. So we had, we celebrated her birthday today. I went to pick up Sprinkles cupcakes and I have these with my supervisor, um, one of the cupcakes. And after that half of a cupcake, I felt sick again. And I just had like stomach pain. I could just feel it. So I think my body is just getting used to not having to digest the carb or a lot of it, I should say at one sitting. Um, but yeah, so that's my update for now. I don't know if I lost any actual pounds. I don't have a scale. Um, I just kind of can tell by looking in the mirror and just feeling my body. Weird. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel like here and I'm like, oh, it's thinner. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am loving the way I'm feeling. I'm becoming a little bit more confident. Um, I just have been enjoying it so far. It's been so good. Um, but let me know if you are on the keto diet or if you've tried the keto diet or if you're interested in trying the keto diet or if you have questions about it, like let me know. Um, I hope to do more of these videos. I know this channel was mainly like re product reviews and vlogs. But I just figured that this channel is my channel and it should just focus around things that I'm interested in. And right now I'm interested in my health. I'm interested in getting healthier, um, becoming a better version of me. And so I hope you guys will come on this journey with me as well. Um, it's crazy just to think about like, you know, how long it's been since I felt this way about myself. And it's crazy to think that for so long I was feeling so down about myself but now I'm like getting back up there to feeling good about myself um but yeah that's like a whole nother topic and a whole nother video anyhow I hope you guys had a great day I hope you guys are still sticking to your new year's resolution and if not there's always tomorrow to start again the most important thing is to start back up never to stop um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great night or day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.